Hi, my name is Nick Walker and this is Scouting. Today I'm going to be going over knife safety, knife sharpening, what we recommend, what a knife is properly used for. Now, today uh, what we usually recommend for knives of scouting, it doesn't matter how big the knife is in scouting because we're most likely just going to either use them to cut like small cheese on a hike or carve a stick or something like this. So you don't need that big of a that big of a knife. A small one like this would be just as good as any other knife. However, this knife does not have a lot a locking mechanism that holds the blade in place. So that can be considered a hazard in careless hands. What I usually see people have is one like this. It has a little clip here and I'm going to use this pocket as an example so you can better see it. Is that we usually put it with the clip facing this way. That way it doesn't get lost because if you place it like this then you might bump into something or in something like that and you can just it'll easily come off. If it's facing the other way there's a less likely probability of it actually slipping off. The second thing is that it is a knife. It flips out. It's a knife. It's a nice sharp knife. And it has this little lever right here. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, what we do is that it, we just push it in, and then you move it a little bit to keep that lever locked in that position. And then you move your hand out of the way of the blade, and then you close it. Another one that I see people use, and I use personally, is ones like this. I use ones like this because it has a handle that I can easily grip to, and it's big enough for my hand. This one has a lever right here. What you do is you just push it in like the last one, move your hand away, and close it up. Very easy. One that I see uh, my Scoutmaster use is one like this. This is perfect for if you're going on like a two or three day hiking trip because it has your spoon, your fork, as two separate utensils. And it also has a knife for other purposes and a bottle opener. Along with, I believe this is supposed to be a corkscrew, but it can probably be used for anything else that you'd probably need it for. And this serves multiple purposes, as does most knives like this. <coughs> Highly recommended with scouting trips. One that we are a bit iffy on is multi-tools. We do not, like, we don't see, we see the use in them. But we don't see the purpose of them in, like, a two-day campout or something like that. These are good for your eagle projects because they have a knife, a like pliers and a like a little clip a little clipper for metal and stuff like that perfect for an eagle project but the knife in general is what we really need in scouting not the actual tool so it does have purpose we don't it we don't we do recommend them for specific reasons the thing next is fixed blade knives we do not recommend these for two reasons. First one, they serve the exact same purpose as a pocket knife. They just can't be folded in, which brings us to our second point, two, where they are actually more dangerous. Because they cannot fold up, you might run into a situation where it might be out and you might fall or something. There's not really going to be any sort of way to help you, even if it was a folded knife. That's besides the point. The point is, is that it's more dangerous than if it was kept in. But if you are going to have a fixed weight knife, we recommend that you have a case of hard leather. Or in this case right here, again, don't see the purpose in this unless you were gutting a deer or something like that. It's a nice and hard plastic case. What we do not recommend is knives like this. With they that are fixed bladed and they have this little this 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 case right here this this little 
fabric case. I do like this knife, however. Very fun. Uh, but main point is that my scoutmaster has actually seen Boy Scouts where this has been clipped onto their belt. They go to sit down and the knife goes through the cloth casing and actually stabs them. We do, I do not like that word and we do not like that having any sort of effects. So we recommend these knives, not these knives. What we also recommend is how to hand off a knife. When you have a knife, you don't hold it like this. Even if it's a fixed blade knife, you don't want the blade to be facing in towards your... So if it is a fixed blade knife, you hand it off like this. But we don't usually use fixed blades. So if you have a pocket knife, you close it up, and then you hand it over to someone. When that someone who is getting it, they grab it, and you don't let go no matter what until they say, thank you, I have it. Or like, but like, so that they, so that you know that they have it. If they don't, then you might drop it. And if it's a fixed blade knife, that could cause some problems. But the safest way, just set it on the table, let them pick it up. Now, the last thing we're gonna be discussing is knife sharpening. You don't need a big fancy kit like this one. Though if you do, are using oil and you're gonna be like using it for like kitchen use and stuff like that, don't use this sort of oil. If you are gonna use oil, use olive oil. This oil can, be, can, can contaminate your food and uh, it's, that's not fun for anyone. The second thing is that oil, you can use water, of course, for food and stuff, but if you are gonna use this oil, Clean it off as soon as possible if you are going to use it for food. The second thing is that when you use this sort of oil or any sort of thing, you don't want to like, Bleh. it there doesn't need to be too much. It's just like a little dab and that's all you need. Spread that out a little bit and stuff like that. Now, again, you don't, you just really need one grindstone, water stone, whatever you want to call it. But I have two, so we have a hard one and a soft one. What you want to do first is the hard one. You always want the blade to be facing away from you. And you want to go in at a 20 degree angle like this. This can be done uh, two or three times. But when you are done with one side, the instructions that came with this box said to do it like this. Don't do that. That can lead to problems as well, cutting yourself and such and such. So you actually want to switch off to the opposite hand and do it away from you. This may feel uncomfortable, but I'd rather have a little uncomfort than a gash in my chest. Again, you do the same process for if, since this is a hard stone, you'd use the soft stone next. And you do the same process, just a few three strokes and two or three strokes and then just put those away. So, we've talked about what we recommend, what we don't recommend, how to properly use a knife, how to clean a knife and sharpen it. We talked about how to hand off knives, we talked about what we recommend, what we don't recommend, and how those casings and what casings those need to be in, as well as how to sharpen a knife properly. I'm Nick Walker, and this is Scouting.